Earlier in June, we watched as Japan's iSpace attempted to land on the moon. As you probably know by now, this was not a successful landing, but yesterday during a press conference, we found out just how close they came. After five months of traveling to the moon, they were within four seconds of landing successfully. Firstly, they confirmed the problem was that the laser rangefinder took too long to acquire the surface of the moon, meaning they didn't have enough time to slow down. The team shared this detailed velocity and altitude graph, which showed that when they acquired the lunar surface, they were at 650 meters up, descending at 66 meters per second. They began decelerating, and the acceleration was 2.4 meters per second per second. Well, if you do the math on that, it shows that they would have needed 900 meters to stop from a speed of 66 meters per second. So that's a difference of 250 meters. And at 66 meters per second, they covered that distance in less than four seconds. That was the difference. In their ground testing, they had expected the LiDAR would lock on by 1.5 kilometers. They started looking at three kilometers, but they didn't get a return until 650 meters. By then, it was too late for the engines to stop the descent in time. 